Hello, welcome to the Happy Hippie Intuitive. My name is Nina and I'm here to do your weekly reading from the 7th of March to the 13th of March 2022. So what kind of energies might you bump up against this coming week and advice from spirits and angels on how to maneuver? With that being said, Remember that these readings are general, so you must take what resonates and leave the rest, please. I will list all the cards I use below, and I will also put timestamps below, so you quick and easy can jump straight to your reading once you've made your pick. If you're interested in channeled work, if you're interested in ascension, awakening process, communication with star beings, angels, or source energy and such, you can find my other channel called Pure Light Awakening in the description box below. But without further ado, let's get into the reading for this week. So you have three decks to choose from. Now, from number one, this is called the Wheel of the Year Tarot. Now, for number two, this is called the Herbal or Herbal Tarot. And for number three, this is called the Chrysalis Tarot. Now, you have three crystals to choose from as well. On number one today, we have a White Howlite. On number two, we have a Rose Quartz. And on number three today, we have a Selenite. So, sink into your intuition. Ask your angels and guides to guide you to pick either number one, two, or three. Pause the video if you need more time, and I'll be back in a moment, and I'll start with number one. Removing number three and number two. Okay, number one, so if you pick the white Howlite, then this is the reading for you. I'll put it up here so it will be part of your reading. And I will also pull six cards, as we always do in the weekly, and we will see what kind of energies you might bump up against this coming week. And we will ask spirits and angels on guiding us on how to maneuver those energies, okay? So let us just shuffle real good here. Uh, this deck does not come with the orange <laughs> edging. <laughs> That's something I have done because I felt like that was just more kind of in sync with the deck. So that was my choice. Anyways, let us see number one. Oh, one that just jumped straight out. Now the Queen of Cups. Wow, beautiful. What else do you get? Let's pull them a little bit further down here, more in the center. There, Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords. The Transformation card called Death. Eight of Wands. Oh, that was really out of focus. Let's see. There, Eight of Wands. Six of Wands, that's beautiful. And Six of Swords, underneath Six of Cups. Okay. Now, I feel like, I mean, the main focus I see in this reading is the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is actually a good card. Uh, you might, uh, you know, feel like this is a grim card, but actually what it says is that it is the end of all of this. Ten is the last of the sword, so it's kind of the end of it, and the dawn is coming. Um, so it is putting something to rest here, and that's kind of what she does, you know. She's putting her hand on the grave there, saying goodbye, and saying, okay, now this I have to bury, this I have to be done with. This is over now. And she's moving away, Okay. And the reason why I also feel that is because of, of course, the transformation card here, huge transformation, but also the Six of Swords, which is about taking that trip from the shores you have now over to the shores that you would rather have. So it is a movement thing. It is about, you know, letting go of the past, moving to the future. And also the Six of Cups is the card of reminiscing, but it's also the card about being hung up on the past. You see, she's looking down into the water, seeing happy days when she was together with this person and she's longing for that. So she's keeping, she's keep looking back instead of looking forward. So I feel like, like here, it's a huge invitation to put all of that behind now and to move into something different, allowing this transformation to happen. 
because you also have the six of wands, which is a victory card. So it will be victorious, whatever this is, whatever this shift is, whatever this needing to let go of the past is, it will be victorious because you have the six of wands here. You also have the eight of wands. So that is a forcefulness that is quickly, that is something that might happen quite uh, hasty, or it also might be news coming towards you. Queen of uh, Queen of um, of Cups is of course someone who's very balanced and who's very much uh, nurturing to herself, and she has kind of come uh, conquered those negative energies within relationship questions, and is standing strong in her own power and in her own love. Okay, so that's kind of what I feel with that. Let us pull some energy cards here to see what the oracle cards have to say today. Angel of balance. So there's balance needed here. Yeah, it's about, yeah. So I, I have a feeling that it is, it, it, it's about taking that final step and putting the lid on kind of something that was before and taking that final step into the new because you're ready now. The sun, beautiful. So that is kind of a promise of better times. There's a man holding the heart underneath the deck. So this might have to do with the love relationship as well. Uh, or, or a relationship in any way, shape, or form is what I feel. It can, of course, be a relationship with a colleague or a relationship with family or a friend. But it's definitely something that has to do with love, that has to do with emotions and, and balance in that. Okay, that's kind of what I feel here. Let us also pull some uh, Conscious Spirit cards. See what we get there. Some more advice. Find your bliss. I am following a path I love and am fully aligned to my soul's purpose. So they are inviting you to step into that feeling of joy, which is also the representative of the sun card here. It's a feeling of joy, stepping into the, the energy of joy. So finding your bliss, following what you, your heart truly desires in this situation here, uh, not you know, falling back into that trap where the ego kind of draws you back, draws you back, draws you back into the past because you don't belong there anymore, okay? Crystal Ascension. I am attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of the Crystal Kingdom. Okay, so crystals might be something you can use to, to help you here. Um, might benefit you in, in moving forward. Um, so that might be something for you to look into. But it's also about, as it should say, uh, being attuned to the universal wisdom. So are you in contact with your spiritual team, I would ask? Uh, are you allowing them to be part of your life right now? Just a question, number number one. I feel, I feel, and I feel like you're you're ready to take that step, but at the same time, it feels like maybe you're reluctant, or maybe you're asking questions as to, is this the right thing to do? Uh, I have a feeling that they're definitely trying to tell you that yes, it is time now. You're ready. I hear, I keep hearing the the words that you're ready. Okay. I'm also going to pull one of these dreamscapes uh, oracle cards. To fill out the middle here before we pull some charms today. Um, yeah. <coughs> I feel like it is an end of an era, you see. And it's going to be victorious. The silence. Okay. So silence might be where you need to go. You, you Maybe you need to hold your peace, is what I hear for some of you. Okay. If this is a dispute, if this is something that in you, you feel like, oh, I wish I could just, bleh, you know, and say what I feel and just, bleh, then maybe, maybe you should, if that's what you feel like, but maybe you shouldn't. Maybe it's time to just say, you know what, I'm not going to go down that path. I'm not going to go into that energy. I'm going to keep my peace, just say goodbye, leave that behind and move into the energy of joy, move into the energy of this is what I want. This is for me. Because I have a feeling that the, the main message of this entire reading today is that you need to do this for you. Never mind any other people. Do this for you. You move into whatever it is that brings you joy. 
that whatever it is that makes you in in connection with your soul space whatever it is that it makes you in connection with your heart you know so and i feel like it's going to be very good for you it's going to be victorious you have the sun here as well you have the six of wands here uh you have the the queen of uh, cups here uh, so, and, and the death card, which is a huge transformation happening for you. So in order for you to find your balance and your bliss and your joy, you need to leave behind whatever it is that you kind of been, maybe your ego been drawing you back into something, or maybe you keep focusing on that. What if, what if we, you know, we could start try again, or what if that, or what if this, so leave that behind now. Okay. And it's for you. This is your gift to yourself kind of. Okay. So let us pull some charms today. What do you get? Ooh, you get a ring. Wow. So for some of you, um, this might be a renewal of a relationship as in taking the next step. And you did have a man holding a heart here. So that might actually be a proposal for some of you, just to have that said. Uh, now, for me, I feel like then this reading is about maybe you guys have had some bumps in the road uh, in this relationship. Maybe you've been, dis uh, you know, thinking about uh, making a change or maybe you have been going back to that hurt all the time. Maybe your ego has drawn you back. But can you trust him, though? Can you trust him, though? Can you trust him, though? Or her, uh, you know. And, and, and it's kind of drawing you back into that kind of energy. And it's, no, it's time to let that go. It's time to step into the celebration. I mean, the man or woman holding a heart here, the celebration and the ring could mean that that person is ready to take the next step. But you have to feel into where this resonates for you. But what in general, I would say with that is that leave that old negative thinking behind, okay? And start anew, start fresh. And for others of you, this might be commitment to yourself or commitment to spirit. Uh, or commitment to the uh, the energy of joy. Snowman, uh, going outside in nature, going outside to play, but also building blocks, building one a ball on top of the other to build a snowman. Right? You got a deer, so that for me is gracefulness. Uh, it's gentleness, but it can also be kind of uh, caught in caught like a, a deer in the headlights kind of feeling, you know. So you have to take that as it resonates for you, number one. Now you got the elephant and an elephant never forgets. I am not asking you to forget if you've been hurt, but I, what I've been asking you to do is leave the energy of that behind, meaning don't play in that energy anymore. You don't have to forget what happened to you. If it if it's what hurtful, you take that as, uh, you know, a lesson, if you will, or, or you take that with you, but you don't have to play in that energy anymore. You got the fish. So that for me is good luck. It's also fortune, good fortune. Now you see you have the sun behind the cloud here, so definitely better days ahead. And you also got the Santa, which is presents coming your way, that's beautiful. And you got the Eiffel Tower, so maybe some of you have been planning a trip to Paris. Uh, maybe you will be proposed to <laughs> in front of the Eiffel Tower, uh, I don't know. But, or maybe this is just about building blocks again, you know. Uh, it didn't take a day to build this huge tower here. So it's one kind of on top of the other kind of feeling, building blocks. So that might be significant for some of you. So you have to take that as it resonates with you, number one, okay? Well, that's pretty much all I had for you for this week. I hope this made sense. I hope you liked this reading. Then give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell so you get notified every time I upload. Until the next time I see you, number one, I wish you the very best. Bye for now. Okay, number two, so if you chose this rose quartz, then this is a reading for you. 
I'll put it up here so it will be part of your reading and we will pull six cards as we always do in the weekly to see what kind of energies you might bump up against this coming week. And we will invite Spirit in, her angels, to guide us on how to maneuver the energies. Okay? I hope you are doing well, number two. Let's pull six cards. Six of Wands, beautiful. The High Priest. The Star, wow. Two of Swords. The Magician. Ten of Swords. And Five of Wands. Okay. So, yeah, okay, I'm just trying to sink into the energies and listen to what they tell me here. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Okay, so what they're saying is that this is very much about your spiritual journey here. It's very much about where you have, what you have done so far. You have, you have made some choices and it's been the right choices for you so far. Uh, you have the Six of Wands, which is also a card of recognition and also a card of victory. You have the High Priest and the Magician. So uh, I would say that you are definitely someone who's connected with the spiritual realm. But it can also, of course, be that the High Priest is representative for, for a person in your life who is uh, a spiritual teacher in some way, shape or form. Uh, and the Magician is you, though. The Magician is you, um, you know, having all the tools you need, uh, being the Magician in your own life those kind of things and you have the star card here which is kind of when you wish upon your star your 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 answers will be heard or your answers have been heard the ten of swords is this is the end of the hurt this is the end of the struggle uh this is kind of the last sword number 10 and so we're done okay you're done with the struggle you're done with the fighting uh you have put that behind you underneath there you have the hermit which is again someone who's very connected with the spiritual realm so i would say for you, it seems like you have made the right choices and you have come very far and it is the end now of the hardship. You're stepping into the magician now. You're, you're receiving from the universe. You're in connection with the universe. You're receiving the victory, the recognition, the gifts coming to you. So I feel like for you, number two, that you have come very far and uh, they're telling you that the hardship is over. Is what I feel is the message of this reading. But let us also pull some energy cards here as well. And see what additional messages they might have. Happy family. Wow, beautiful. Very good energies here today. Yeah, indecision. So there might be also this choice card since it comes up kind of twice that there is another new choice that you are faced with. Um, let's see, underneath, woman holding a heart, okay? So there might be a new decision that you have to make uh, or this might be a representative for a decision that you have already made. So take that as it resonates with you. But you might be at a kind of a threshold now where you're, should I should do this, should I should that do that? But I do have a good feeling about it, though. I am, The only thing I'm saying, since you got this underneath, is make sure that the, the decision is made from your heart, okay? From your heart space. So, I'm going to pull some more cards for you. We're going to do this uh, Conscious Spirit cards. And then we have some deep Dreamscape Oracle and Charms today as well. Integration. 
I combine body, mind, and soul to lift all of humanity into a new dimension. Wow. Yeah, I would say that you are definitely someone who has been working on your path for a long time, number two. You got also earth elemental. I gracefully accept the abundance the earth bestows on me. So if you're not if you're not feeling grounded right now, I feel like this is an invitation for you to ground yourself. Uh, but if you are, I would say that you might be uh, an earth angel or you might also be someone who is very much in connection with the earth element, which is kind of shamanism and that kind of uh, way of thinking. And or if you're not already, then maybe there's an invitation here for you to look into more of that. Connection with Gaia. Oh, there was two cards that popped. I will take those. Uh, connection with Gaia. Connection with animals. Connection with nature. And, you know, uh, using nature to kind of connect into your soul and into the light. But you're also here. It says, I combine body, mind, and soul to lift all of humanity into a new dimension. So there is also some light activation, activation happening with you, I would say, number two, okay? Um... And I feel like you've come to a space now where you, where you you feel content. I mean, there there is new opportunities, new ways that you can choose from, yes. But I feel like you have you are the magician, you see. You've come to a place now where you know what to do. You you know that this is the way I'm happy. This is what I need in my life to stay happy. Okay? So let's look at these two cards. White owl, wow, wisdom and balance. Yeah. Yeah, you see, I, I feel like this is where you are at. I feel like the, the hardship, as I said, is over now. If you if you were wondering, then this is kind of the, the message for you that, yes, it's over now, okay? You have new uh, issues or in, in decisions coming up, but I feel like that has to do with, you know, happy things, with nice things, with opportunities more than, than problems. You got the happy family card here as well. You're integrating, you're, you're, you know, you're having a light activation, a DNA activation. You are the magician, uh, working maybe with nature, with animals, with earth. So just make sure that you follow your heart, fo keep on following your heart here. And your answers are being heard, you know, or your prayers are being heard, I mean. So you, you're getting the answers from spirit now. You have the wisdom within you. So just make sure that you continue having that balance and that you make the decisions from your heart. And that you make sure that you, you don't let your ego drag you back in here. But I don't think your ego will. I think you've come so far, number two, on your spiritual journey that you won't let your ego do that to you anymore. Right? And if you are in doubt, then make sure. Make sure that your ego don't by getting into the soul space. Right? We will pull some charms. See what you get, number two. So, you got the G key, which is, of course, uh, symbolism for music. So, maybe some more music in your life. Maybe listening to music, dancing, and you even got two. Oh, my goodness. Uh, or maybe you are actually someone who is a music mu musician or singer or dancer or loves music. Or maybe there's an invitation to pick up an instrument. Maybe you played an instrument as a child and you should pick that back up. Or sing more. Or use drums maybe in in you know with the shamanism here or there's something about music and instruments for you okay now you had a butter butterfly and that's a huge transformation and i feel like that has been happened to you they have a keyhole and a heart here so what is the key to your heart though and you also got the woman holding a heart here so there might be something with love coming towards you here and some questions regarding that maybe that's what you have uh, a, a choice of in the future here you also got the symbol of peace. So I do feel like that's kind of where you, you, you have come to. You have come to the place of peace within you. And you also got the owl of wisdom again. So you are someone who's definitely very gifted, very wise. And I have a feeling that you could share this wisdom. Uh, you are integrating light activation. Maybe you're a shaman. You know, you have all of this. You're the magician. So you have all of this connection with spirit so so i would say also with the two owls here that that might be significant for someone who's supposed to teach okay so pass it on kind of to to people uh teach them about spirituality and about your journey share your journey might also write a book you might also open up a youtube channel you start start sharing your journey and your gift here is what i feel number two okay 
So that's pretty much all I had for you. I hope this made sense. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I'm wishing you a pleasant week and uh, all the best for the future. And thank you so much for being with me today. Till the next time I see you. Bye. Okay, number three, so if you picked the selenite crystal, then this is the reading for you. I'll put it up here so it will be part of your reading, and we're going to pull six cards as we always do in the weekly. I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you are maneuvering the energies to the best of your ability, and that you are happy wherever you are in the world. Let us have a look at the coming week, the 7th to the 13th of March. There was one that just flew out, so we'll take that. Six of Spirals. Seven of Scrolls. The Kali, the Tower. The Green Man is the Emperor. The Watcher, Queen of Mirrors. Nine of Scrolls and Two of Mirrors. Okay. So let me just quickly explain to you, because this deck has different names of the different suits. So, the mirrors are pentacles, okay? So this is the two of pentacles. And the spirals is the ones. These spirals are the ones. And the scrolls, they are the swords. So this is nine of swords, and this is seven of swords. And that was pretty much it. So wands, swords, and pentacles. No cups today. The cups here is actually mirrors. No. Mirrors or cups, sorry. Stones or pentacles. Okay, so there's no stones here, is it? No stones? No. So there is no pentacles, but there is two of cups. Should have seen that, of course, with the two swans here. And then there is the six of... Spirals, which is the ones, and then these are the swords. Okay, so just to have that said. Now, uh, all decks, some decks have very different uh, ways of looking at things, and that's totally okay. Okay, so you have the seven of swords, and you have the nine of swords here. So let's address those two first together with the tower, okay? The seven of swords can be the feeling of deceit. Uh, it can be feeling of someone taking something away from you. Uh, something stealing from you, but it can also be your own ego, you know, taking stuff away from you. So it doesn't have to be grim at all. Now, the Nine of Swords can be sleep sleepless nights or it can be anxiety. It can be feeling of, I give up, like <laughs> it looks like this person has done. Uh, and it comes underneath the tower. So there might have been some information uh, or some something happening lately that has kind of rubbed your boat a little bit here. And it might have to do with a relationship since it's next to the two of mirrors, which is the two cups, which is, of course, uh, the love card or relationship card. But the relationship might be a colleague. It might be a friend. It might be a family member. It doesn't have to be love relationship, just to have that said. Okay. Now, you do have, however, the queen of mirrors, which is the queen of cups, and you have the Six of Spirals, which is the Six of Wands, which is Victory card and Recognition. And you also have the Emperor. So, uh, the Emperor here could, of course, be someone that is very stubborn, that, you know, you're bumping, bumping up against. That could be for some of you. But I do feel for the majority of you that this is your own power. This is your power. And this is the kind of uh, the victory uh, and the recognition of your power and of your strength and of what you are good at. So this might have something to do with work, actually. 
And the queen of, uh, so it could be work relation, so it could be a love relation, you know, you have to take this as it resonates. And the queen of cups is someone who is very much in her, uh, she's loving to herself. She has kind of overcome all of this drama uh, and, and she's standing in her own power. So that's kind of what they're inviting you to do here. So don't let your ego make up stories though. It might have been something that rocked your boat, yes. But don't let your ego drag you down a path where you go into why me and why couldn't he or she have done or said so and, you know, why is this always happening to me kind of uh, energy because that's not going to get you anywhere, okay? Um, so, but, but I feel like, you know, I, I feel like you have the power and you have the wisdom and you have the ability to stand your own ground here and to actually see what's good for you. Uh, but something might have happened to you that kind of put you off your game a little bit here, uh, is what I feel. So let us pull some more cards here. Let us pull some energy cards here. See what you get, number three. Journey. So this is part of your journey, you see. This is kind of what you were supposed to experience. I was told to look underneath here now. The high priestess. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So, are you connecting uh, with your spiritual path right now in these kind of energies? I would say not, number three. It's kind of a feeling of you know better. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, because this is part of your journey, okay? Whatever it is that you experience, it's part of your journey, which means you were supposed to experience this. You know, even though the, the human part of you says, no, this is not fair, then your spirit, you know, your higher self is saying, but I wanted to experience this, okay? I wanted to feel what it feels like. And that's where the strength comes in because you are the emperor, you, you have the strength within. And, and it is actually a victorious thing. It is actually a happy thing because this is something you on a higher level chose to experience, okay? So you are the queen of cups here. Uh, even though all of this is happening in your human life, your human vicinity. And this might also be, since it is the high priestess underneath, and uh, the two of uh, cups here, which is partnership, this could also be your partnership to spirit, okay? Just to have that set. Now, you also have temple path, which is also the, the journey here, the, the, the journey on the earth. And you have the seventh chakra here. Uh, which is connection to spirit. So very much about your spiritual path, your connection to spirit. Um, you were supposed to have all these experiences. So it, it might have been some rough experiences for you, but this is part of your journey. You were supposed to feel these things and you need to kind of shift out of that energy now is what I feel. So let us pull some conscious spirit cards. At day's end, rest. I find peace in nature and rest my body and mind in order to connect to spirit. Connection with spirit again. So, are you are you doing that right now, number three? Or are you a bit off, I would ask. Spirit awakens. I embrace my soul purpose and align as aspects of my life to it fully. Align all aspects of my life to it fully. See, it is, a, it is about your spiritual journey here, most definitely. And you're supposed to experience these things here, even if it feels rough right now, even if you might have anxiety even, uh, even if you uh, feel like you've been deceived, uh, even if something rocked your boat and, and kind of put you off your path here a little bit. As I said, I have a feeling that you should know better, kind of, because you, you are in connection, you are strong, you are the emperor standing in your power, you are the queen of cups, you know. There is a victory and recognition here, but you don't don't let your ego or, or other people push you off your path here, okay? Stay focused on what it is that you want. Sun bear, beautiful. So that's the strength, that's the energy of the sun, that's kind of the, it's, it's the sun card, but also with the strength and the energy of the bear. So... You, you you have this strength within you and it's such a beautiful light number three don't let your ego ruin this for you don't let your ego push you off your path here keep focusing keep your relationship with spirit and if this is a, if you feel like this is also a relationship with love even so keep in connection with your soul and your heart space and keep in connection with spirit no matter what this is about okay so let's pull some charms in the end here today
Oh, lots of charms for you today, number three. So you got, uh, um, this is kind of a um, hair clip for a child. So I don't know if you have a child in your vicinity or a grandchild or a niece or um, if you work with children or something like that. But this is kind of uh, a child's hair piece or a hair clip or whatever you call that. Um I, I see. I also see you braiding somebody's hair or child's hair. So I don't know if you've done that or if that makes sense for you. Anyway, so this is also a flower. So blossoming, blooming. And you got the butterfly. Not surprised. Huge transformation happened to you. You got the sun again here, which is I'll put here on the sun bear. You got the Eiffel Tower. Maybe you are planning a trip to Paris or maybe that Paris or France has something to do with you. Or it could be building blocks, one on top of the other. There is sun behind the clouds. Definitely. Uh, sun, sun, sun. There's a lot of sun energy here for you, number three. So there is sun behind the clouds. You also have a shell. Um, that's also for the water element, of course, but it's also the very feminine sign, this for me, symbol for me. Uh, so it is about daring to go into the emotional here as well. So you also got a gingerbread woman. Baking, I hear. Okay, uh, I also see somebody baking with a child. I don't know if that's significant for you, but there's something about baking what you want but that is, is, is a meaning in making making what you want in life also you also have a, a seahorse which is <clears throat> you know seahorses they mate for life so I have a feeling that whatever this is whatever relationship this is whether it be with spirit or with the loved one or a family member or a child or whatever it is for life it's it's solid it's um it's a real it's love that you can trust kind of okay and you also have a heart here. So again, love. And you also have two swans here again. Wow, the same as this one. You see, two swans and also forming a heart. Beautiful. So this is definitely for some of you uh, a love relationship. But it can also be a partnership, okay? And it can also be your parents uh, for you if you're a young person and not in a relationship, okay? So you also got a hummingbird here. And, um, yeah, so I, I, I hear drinking the nectar of life, okay? So are you, are you making sure that the energies that you are taking into your physical form and into your energy field is of the best for you? Are you, are you focusing on that kind of energy? Because the energies you focus on is the energies you take in, right? So are you focusing on the right kind of energies is what I would say. You got a little gem here, so for me that's just about, you know, putting on the nice stuff, a little silver gem. You also got tennis rackets, so I don't know if anybody out there plays tennis, or this might be an invitation to just move your physical form, uh, to say yes to that invitation to go for a walk or to play tennis or squash or uh, racquetball or whatever, or, you know, moving that physical form a little bit as well. Get the juices flowing, kind of, okay? But I do feel a lot of this reading is about love. Uh, and it can, of course, be a love relationship. It can be a partnership. It can be friendship. It can be parents. It can also be your relationship with spirit. So take that as it resonates with you. But all in all, general, um, this is very much about your spiritual journey as well. Uh, your awakening. Your, your kind of taking that, you're taking that step on your path here, on the temple path. And, you know, get away from these energies here. Don't focus on those energies anymore. Focus your energies on what it is that you want. Focus on the love. Focus on the sun. Focus on nature. Uh, focus on connection with spirit. Focus on your own strength, standing in your own strength. Um, and, and take one step at a time, kind of. You are the high priestess here, as they said with this card right here, right? So, so you're moving towards something totally different as long as you don't get stuck in these kind of energies, okay? And the nine of uh, swords and seven of swords, right? And maybe this is a love relationship coming your way, or maybe this is a current relationship, a renewal of old love. You never know. Take that as a with you, number three, okay? That was pretty much all I had for you this week. I hope this made sense. I hope you liked the reading. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you haven't. 
Click the bell so you get notified every time I upload. If you're interested in channeled work, then head on over to my other channel, which will be linked below. Until the next time I see you, number three, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.